Welcome to EMC Workshops on the Go. The topic of this session is Zoom polling. There are two ways to create a poll for your Zoom session. You can set it up in advance or you can set it up live on the fly. The advantage to setting up your poll in advance is that you can just pull it up during your presentation and run with it versus having to type in your prompts while everyone is waiting. There are a few different types of interactions that you can include in your poll. They are single choice, multiple choice, matching, rank order, short answer, and long answer. You may also convert your poll into a quiz or select to make the responses anonymous. Here is an example of using the Zoom polling action during an icebreaker activity for a professional development workshop just prior to the semester starting. In this activity, I intend to poll my audience of instructors to see where they're at just prior to the start of the semester. So what I've done is I've pre-made my poll in Zoom. So during my session, all I have to do is take a few seconds to come down here to polls, bring up my poll, take a look at it briefly, and then launch it. And when I launch it, it will be visible to my participants in my session, and the participants can respond to my poll. So it looks like the participants have responded to my poll and I can now end my poll. When the poll has ended, I can see the results that were submitted by the participants and I can reflect on how I need to modify my presentation. If I would like to share my results so that all participants can see how each other has responded, I simply click on share results. They see the results that I see. You can discuss them. When I'm ready to move on, I simply stop sharing. If I want to download my poll, I can download it here. Use the X in the upper right-hand corner to close your polling and continue your presentation. In closing, you can connect and engage with students in your Zoom session through using Zoom polls as an icebreaker to get to know more about your student. You can also use it as a way to measure their level of understanding. Lastly, ensure that both you and your students are using the most up-to-date version of the Zoom software or app.